have one question um, that I wanted to talk about today, and I think maybe everybody might be interested in your the AI posting you had mm -hmm. yesterday about 17 hours ago. Mm -hmm. That was interesting, but I didn't really understand it because I'm not super clear on what AI is. Absolutely. Okay, let's have a look what this is about. Um, I just made a little tool. And um, what the tool does is it helps you see opportunities for linking up uh, one part of your website with another. So when you create content on your website, so you say you build a new page or a new post um, and, you know, you do all the things I tell you to do and, you know, have the you know, one at least one link and, you know, have alt tags for your images and you have your keyword and your headers and all that sort of stuff. That's all great, but we've got to kind of sharpen our pencil a bit because now we are starting to have to compete with artificial intelligence. What's happening online now is that when someone puts a question, a general question about your breed, for example, then artificial intelligence is being used more and more by Bing and Google and other search engines to answer the question for the person, um, which means they can bypass your website. So we want to sort of make sure our website is highly ranked and one of the, th the ways we do that is by making sure that when someone comes to a page on our website, anything that is related to the topic we're talking about that can enrich their experience of, um, you know, being on your site and, and enrich their learning and, and uh, give them more information about what they're actually interested in learning by coming on your page then the way we do that is making sure we can link to other parts of our website which also cover allied or similar information, you know. So um, how do we do that? Well, when we make a page on our website, the little tool that I created using AI, I did it as a fun thing just to give it a crack. Um, it will actually help identify parts of your website where it does make sense for you to link out. So um, I can give you a bit of a demonstration of it if you'd like me to. Yeah, that'd be great. All right. So what we need, um, let me just see. I'll go to share the screen. Okay. So the first thing is that you have, must have some content on your website to actually cross-link together. Because if you don't, then this tool's not going to be any use to you whatsoever. If your website's made up of pretty pictures of your dogs and pretty pictures of your puppies and not much actual substance as far as information goes, this tool's going to be no use to you at all. But if you've been steadily building up information, following the program, you know, putting answering the common questions about your breed on your website and gradually building up the knowledge base that you are showing off um, about your, your professionalism and expertise about your breed on your website, which is what you should be doing. And when you create a page on your website, then you should be able to link to other pages on your website. Do I need to have chat GPT plus or something like that? If you're trying to access chat GPT, can you, is there a free version? Yes. Isn't three the free version and you have to pay to get four? That's right. Does anyone here have the free version and has tried to use this tool? No. So... Maybe you could have a go, Heather, and <laughs> tell us whether you can actually use the tool, um, you know, without actually having to pay. I have the paid one because I think it's great value. Anyway, so what we do is say I made this page, um, how to choose a puppy, right? So I, what I do is I copy the page. So it's best done when you're actually making the page. So I'm going to copy the content of the page. So it's it says here, paste your content and a, a list of internal links to add. So if I first I paste my content, it's telling me. Um, so I'll put the content in, and this is all in the way. Go away, all you stuff. Okay, so first I'll put the content in, and then I want to get the um, the URLs. So it's a little bit laborious because I've got to gather up the URLs um, of my page. There are things you can use to list your URLs. I was just looking at that a minute ago, actually. Uh, let's see if I've got it. 
uh, Screaming Frog. There's a thing called Screaming Frog, um, which you can download for free, and it will give you like a list of your website URLs. I've got so many on mine. Um, okay, so I'm just installing it now, but if I just go to my website and grab a few of the pages, if you don't have many, this won't take you long. Uh, where is it? Um, whose dogs are barking? Someone's there. Mine. It's my, I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, so let me see. Let me just grab, I'll just grab a couple of URLs. Um, so that one there. So basically you've got to throw those URLs in there. And, whoops, go away. Uh, let me see another one. So the more cross-links you have in your website, the better. So you just keep adding them. It'll just keep on reiterating your article with, with links that's suggested for good SEO. So I'll go to another one. Throw that one in there. And let's grab another one. Where am I? And that one in there. Okay. The one that I'm actually doing already. Oh, you know, how, how to choose a puppy. That's the one I'm already doing. Uh, yeah. That's it. Okay, let's just try those ones and see what it comes up with. So I don't know how much content you've got on your website, but, you know, I mine's over the top. But give that one a crack and let's see what it comes up with. So I've added some more URLs. And then it tries to integrate them naturally as internal links into your content. So it actually provides you with the enhanced content. Linking one part of your website with another part of your website. So you've got one page and it sort of links up with all the relevant different pages based on the content you provided. It might even suggest a bit of extra content um, so that you can utilise the opportunity to link to other pages of your site. See this? It's already linked to my Miniature Snouser Breeder page. So it's just basically redoing the whole article for me and it's going to put in other links there. Um, yeah, see there's the Miniature Snouser Puppies for Sale page. Let's put that one in there. So anyway, it's rewriting it all for me. Same, exactly the same text, but it's added a bit more text. We'll change it around to make it look natural for linking to the pages. Um, and some of them just say click here, click here. So it's put that information in there too. So I've inserted the links in a way. This is the, what the robot's saying. This is what AI is. It's a robot. I've inserted the links. This is what it's saying in a way that anchor text is relevant and the links are functional. Um, and if you need further adjustments and have more content for linking, then ask. So I can put in more URLs in there and it'll re redo the whole thing again and, and add more links. So the thumb right I consider now, considered backlinks then? No, these are internal links. Okay. So you've got backlinks are other websites pointing at your website going, that's a great website. Make sure you go over there and check it out. So that's one of the ways that Google judges whether your, your website is has high authority by how many other people have voted by pointing at you and taking the trouble to put you, the link to your website on their website, for example, or on a forum um, post or something like that. Internal links, on the other hand, are links from one part of your website to another part of your website. So imagine someone's coming to your website page and rather than them trying to figure out what else might be of interest on your website to them, um, when they come to a page, it will actually link to relevant information within your website um, that they might be interested in also checking out. So that gives a signal to Google that people are engaged on your site and that interactivity pr improves the visitor experience on your website. And that's one of the parameters that Google 
takes very seriously when it's ranking a website. What is the visitor experience? So, for example, if your website takes too long to load or it's not secure or it looks terrible on a mobile phone or it's not relevant content um, or, you know, it's hard to find their, your way around it because your stuff is buried deeply into the layers, um, all those things are negatives. And people will tend to bounce out of a website like that. And the bounce rate's another thing that pe that Google uses. But if people come on your website and then they can see there's relevant content and then they follow that link and go off and check out that link and then they see there's other relevant content and they go to another page and, you know, they're basically being engaged by your website and checking out different links, then that's a signal to Google that your website obviously is highly relevant and it boosts your authority and it boosts your ranking. Does that make sense? It does. Thank you for explaining that. No worries. So it's just another tool that we can use. And um, I just thought I would share that and try to create a tool because I like playing with stuff. Um, try to create a tool that would help you to do it more easily.